Laramie Project to me is about discovering humanity in a community and all of the things that enable or, or disable that concept. All of this came to pass by visits that the Tectonic people did um, to interview the people of Laramie, Wyoming after the, you know, the horrible tragedy of um, Matthew Shepard's um, brutal murder. They came to interview people who were not directly involved necessarily, uh, people from the town. They wanted perspective. They wanted to know how a thing like this could happen in such a place. The Laramie Project to me, um, I was really excited when I saw it as an upcoming show at the Group Rep Theater um, because I had read The Laramie Project in college, so I was familiar with it. And so at this point in my life, I had a better way to digest the, the actual historical occurrence of Matthew Shepard's murder. It's an exciting opportunity for me to try as, as best that I can to feel what these people are feeling. Um, so I was really excited to be a part of it. Um, yeah, and excited to share it. It's about real people, some of which are still alive right now. They wrote this, they put this together for a purpose. There's a thing, a messaging that, you know, folks were trying to communicate in writing this. So you're trying to honor the writers, but also the human beings that they're writing about. And that is a unique challenge, because most of the time when you're playing fictional characters, there's no, you know, there's a little less pressure <laughs> in a sense, right, you know? This is, verbatim people's true story, what they, uh, their opinions of what happened to them in, um, in and around Laramie when this happened to them. What happens to a community? And I believe, again, it's, it's quite a testament on um, showing humanity, the lack of humanity, oblivion, community um, outrage, community um, uh, intrusion. I, do people consider that these people were yanked from their um, from their regularity, from their everyday thing, by a mass media, and maybe they weren't prepared for that? You know. So you wonder how does a town heal, and how does a community heal from such first and foremost such a brutal thing happening, but yet also what are those ramifications of, of the outside world coming in and making their judgment on it. If you take out the, the meat of the story and you take out the specific people, it's really a discovery of how people interact with each other, how they act with different beliefs, um, how beliefs change over time, and it's very much a deep dive into societies and how they, they you know, respond again to these kind of situations and you see it again and again with major world events to this day, so I think it'll never stop resonating with people. I used to live in North Hollywood when it happened. So um, me and my many, many, many LGBTQT um, friends were all affected by it early on in our, on our life and how to see it being brought to life when we're older and we have perspective on it. I think that North Hollywood is a perfect place to, um, with its diversity and its, um, you know, and its humanity and its uh, accessibility to the arts. These words are what folks actually said in the moment. So it's also, like it is a theatrical piece, but it's also like a snapshots in time as well. So it's like a way to kind of forever be able to see you know, uh, uh, 50, 100 years from now, you know, there's like a record of, of what was said and, and, and how everyone reacted around this in hopes of, of educating people in such a way so that can keep this sort of a thing from, from happening in any context, right? No one is judging anyone in this piece and everyone is just trying to tell their story. And that's our job as artists, is to tell the story.